All right, good morning, guys. This is, oops, sorry, this date is wrong. Let me fix this. Can I? Can I fix this? I can. Today is the 19th. Um, so good morning. This is CAP for Tuesday, October 19th. Um, you should have gotten a warm-up page from yesterday, and you're completing that there. Uh, while you're working on your warm-up, please have your homework packet out from yesterday, um, having the answers out. Uh, yeah, like that page, it's the back of your packet. I'm going to pause and check my kids. So, warm-up says, to qualify to be in the high jump finals, athletes must jump a certain height of the semifinals. Of course, the jump two and three inches below the qualifying height, but her friend Anika had made it to one and five, six inches over the qualifying height. How much higher was Anika's semifinal final jump compared with Clarence's? So I think a picture would be super helpful with this. Okay, so if it's a high jump, right? I'm talking about high jump. That means is it going to be horizontal or a vertical type of thing? It's a vertical type of thing. Okay, and here's like the qualifying. I'm just going to like say that's my qualifying height. Uh, and then I'm going to sort of label them on this. Clarissa jumped that many below the qualifying height. So they're going to be right here, right? Two and three eighths below. That's not actually the number on the number line, but it's below that much, right? And then her friend Anika was over one and five six. It wants to know how much higher Anika's semifinal jump was compared to Clarissa's. So I'm comparing it to the qualifying height or to Clarissa's height? I'm comparing it to Clarissa's. So what is the strategy I need to do? Okay, besides this one person. Anyone else? How how am I going to find that Devani? Very good. Because I'm finding the difference between the two, I'm finding the distance between the two. So which number? Because we've talked about subtraction. Does the order matter in subtraction? Does the order matter in subtraction? Is three minus Two the same as two minus three? No. no. So the order matters. So which person am I going to put first in here? Anika or Clarissa? Anika. I'm going to put Anika's first, and then I'm going to one and five six, and then I'm going to subtract what? This is going to be tricky. I'm going to subtract payment mm -hmm. two and three eighths. Do you agree, or Andrew? Do you have a different thought? Why do you say negative? <laughs> It's going to be negative because it's below. Okay, in a way, you're sort of going to think of. I know this is weird. The qualifying height is going to be like, uh, what is it called? The zero, the the C level, <laughs> but not. Okay, it's the zero. This person is above, so that's going to be a positive, and you actually want to think of that as a negative. Okay, because we're trying to find that difference, so we're going to subtract negative two and three. Y'all good with that? Okay, if you mess that up, let's go ahead and rewrite that equation in our little warm up box. If we did it wrong, let's go ahead and fix it. When I subtract a negative, what is that going to be the same thing as? If I see subtraction of a negative when it was integers, what can we do when we subtract, Carolyn? I want to rewrite the equation. Y'all remember that? Okay, so she said, I want to keep and add the opposite. So that's going to go help me the equation. Very good. It's going to be a positive 2 and 3 eighths. And then we just got the addition of fractions. Can I add those fractions as they are? No, we said yesterday we want to get a common denominator. Ms. Lytle's going to write it uh, up and down like we did yesterday 1 and 5, 6 and 2 and 3 eighths. What is the common denominator with those two? 24. I could also do 48, but 24 is less. So I'm going to get them both to 24. 2 and 24. What did I do to 6 to get 24? So 5 times 4 is going to give me 20. Very good. 8 times 3. So 3 times 3 is very good. Can I add those as they are now? Absolutely. 20 plus 9 is 29 what? 24. And then 1 plus 2 is? Is this my final answer? Why not? Come and raise your hand. Why not? What's wrong with this, Stephen? 
it's an improper fraction. So what could I do? Maybe make it a mixed number. So how many times can I take 24 out of that? Class? One time. So I'm going to make this whole number a four. And then how many are going to be left over? Five. Because that's a 29 minus 24. I would have five 24 left over. Is that complicated? Yes. No, you can do improper fractions. I just think it's a lot more busy work than I need to do. Okay? You can absolutely turn these into improper fractions to get them a common denominator, but then it ends up being more math because then you have to simplify it again at the end, which I'm lazy. Okay? So, how much higher? Because again, you have to go two and three eighths, then another one and five six. So, in total, that sort of makes sense that it's going to be like four something because it's yeah, it's almost two and two. That makes sense with my answer. Okay. All right. So if you hadn't already guessed, today we're going to be doing fraction operations with negative. Yay. Yay. Okay. We got it. We got this. Okay. Uh, first, talking about the homework again. Number five. There was a mistake. It should have been seven ninths. Uh, a couple of people did message us. Thank you for reaching out because that means you're actually texting your homework, which I really appreciate. And then maybe if people crack the crackers, up there. Were there any questions on it? Yes. Well, you know. All right. Real quick, I'm gonna pause the video on time because I know take it. All right. So yesterday we reviewed just adding and subtracting fractions. Today we're gonna get spicy with some negatives. Why don't I see? Okay, so uh, to add or subtract fractions, you must have a common denominator. We talked about that yesterday. Add or subtract the numerators, but keep the denominator. Word group when necessary. Always simplify your answer. Do not give an answer as an improper fraction unless it's meant to. And follow integer addition and subtraction rule. Okay, so let's do a handful together, and then I'm gonna let you be brave and do it on your own because we're all going to sit in math positions and we don't need our math math sheets to do all this. Right? Right. Not that common. All right. So in the first one, four fifths plus negative one eighth. Okay. What is some things that I need to do? Take a second. Four fifths plus negative one eighth. What's one thing I need to do on that? Carolyn, what do you think? Yeah, to add a negative. Very good. I need common denominators. Class was a common denominator with five and eight. 40. 40. Okay, so I'm gonna, I am gonna write pretty small, but I'm gonna have 40 plus negative something 40. Okay, I'm gonna rewrite it first. I'm gonna try and write as small as possible. Okay, to go from 5 to 40, I need to times it by 8. Times it by 8. So whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So times 8 gives me a numerator of. 32. Okay, very good. Uh, from the 8 to the 40, I did times 5, whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. Times 5 would give me 5. Very good. 5 40 is 32 40 is plus negative 5 40. Now, we can do the math, but we just have to remember those rules. I have addition of positives versus negatives. So, what was the strategy in the final that we talked about time and time again? Like, Kelly, do you remember? Repeat that. If I had positive and then negative, it's addition, so it's friendly as I like it. Do you remember what we talked about? Maybe not. Okay, Marcella, do you remember? Very good. It's like the teams, the positives versus the negatives. In this class, who's winning the positives versus the negatives? Positives. And how much are they winning by? 27. So my answer is exactly that, 27 40. Oh. It's the same rules, it's just applying a different function of our thing. 
Okay. Um, we always want to check if they can simplify. So I, I'm going to start thinking through my rules. Can I divide them by two? No. No, because they're not both even. Can I divide them by three? I can divide 27 by 3. Can I divide 40 by 3? No. Okay, let's go for 4. No. 5. No. 6. No. 7. No. 8. No. 9. No. 10. I usually put it 10. Okay, I don't think it can be simplified. Are we good with that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do example number two. I see it's subtract, and what's the final strategy for subtraction? Yes, ma'am. Very good. I'm not even going to rewrite it. I'm going to keep it as the opposite. So I'm just adding them. Blue. Yay. Okay, before I can add them, I need common denominator, which would be 10. Okay, ready to go. Take a second, do it on your own. Okay, that's my answer. We're doing the next one on our own. All right, I'm just going to start to get the ball rolling. Uh, when I have negative plus negative, What's going to happen? Am I going to add those numbers or subtract those numbers? I'm going to add them, okay, because it's just going to be a negative answer in the end. I'm first going to get a common denominator. With this, I could do 6. If you did 18, you can do that, but I'm just going to leave it at 6. So this is going to say negative 5, 6. This is going to double, so it's going to be negative 4, 6. When I add, I keep the denominators the same. It's going to say 6. It's going to be negative, and 5 plus 4 is 9. Can I simplify that? Yes. Absolutely. Because first off, I can take 9 out of 6, or 6 out of 9, how many times? Once. Once, and then I would have 3, 6 left over. But again, I can simplify that to be negative 1 and 1 half. And I saw that on many of your papers, so good job. Okay? Next one, I have negatives versus positives, so I actually know that my answer, I'm going to end up doing what? If I have negatives and positives, I'm going to end up doing what with those numbers? I'm going to end up subtracting, so again, I need a common denominator. In this case, I can do 20. 20 plus 1 and something 20th. Uh, 3 fourths is the same as 15 20th, and 1 tenth is the same as Two twentieth. Um, can I do that? Do y'all just go from here, or what strategy do y'all use to go from here? Uh, hey, Miss, what do you do? So I actually uh, went to twenty. Okay, but still, what did you end up doing? So in the end, I end up subtracting the number three fourths to number four over twenty. Yes. And uh, one is more twentieth. Uh, one is more four. And ten fortieth, right? Oh, 440th, yes. But could you do the 30 minus the 4? Yes. Oh, sorry. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm going to make this improper. Did anyone else make this improper? Yes, okay. I'm going to do that negative 15 over 20. Plus, what would that be? 22 20th. Because I need to actually end up subtracting to, uh, 22 minus 15, which ends up getting you 7 20th. Positive or negative? Positive. If you simplify your answer down, you get 7 20th. Payment? No. Okay. So the reason why you can't do, okay, so what he did was negative 30 40th uh, plus. Uh, 1 and 4 for you. Because we end up subtracting these numbers, we actually need to put this one on top. So it ends up being like that, and then minus 30 for you. And I can't do 4 minus 30. So that's when we do the regrouping from yesterday. Um, and that would make it 44. And again, we subtract those to get 14 for you, which is the same thing as 7. Okay. All right, it gets a little spicy if you need some room for sure. All right, so what's going to happen now is you're going to work through these problems. It's going to be part of your practice just to reinforce and really get these things locked down solid. I'm going to go ahead again and explain the homework like I did yesterday just so if you finish this first, you know what to do. For homework, 
Um, it's going to be sort of like a breakout room situation. Again, like yesterday, I printed all the questions on the paper. So if, if you have trouble with the breakout rooms for whatever reason, you still have the opportunity to work through those problems. So what you're going to do is just answer the questions that are in your packet, and then you're going to go online, and there's going to be a breakout room. Uh, how it works is it's a Google form. Let me pull it up on the Canvas. Y'all can start working on whatever while I do this. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Online. On today, today is Tuesday. What do you think you're going to click on? The homework thing. So to this link, you'll type in your name. My name is blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm in Miss Lytle's first period. And then you'll see, like, the problems are right there. You're going to type in your answers. So, like, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Um, you see how it says not correct? I cannot break into the next room until all of my answers are correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then hopefully you'll skip it in the end. All right? Does that make sense? Again, if it gives you any trouble, again, you can have the answers written on your packet. Uh, that is today's recording. Thank you. Bye.